Yes, it's finally here. It's time to celebrate. It's the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Hiss, the HasLab, the Hiss Tank. We're here to do a quick unboxing and review. As of now, it is the high-speed Sentry. FedEx didn't high-speed their way to my place, but my friend, shout out to Dave Story, who only lives a mile and a half down the road. He got his about two and a half hours ago, so he was kind enough to loan me this or or give me this one until mine shipped and then we'll do a little flipperoo because we're recording tonight baby got to get this done so anyway as you can see the box is completely massive of the haslab hiss and just to let you get an idea we're ready to rock and roll and he might be too i think he's having some good ideas what about you let's freaking go Right away, you can see we got beautiful art of the Hiss. We got the Hiss tank gunner, of course, the Hiss tactician, the Hiss driver. Take a look at that. It's the side art. This might be one of my more challenging reviews, as you can see. <laughs> Just the thing is, it takes up the space of my whole bar. My little tykes bar, if you will. But yeah, there's the artwork on the back, all the legalese. And uh, one more end cap there. So get the shovel. Check in the bottom. Got all the specs there. David Spec. David Specs. The Mark 1 GH7C. All that stuff. So real cool. Real, real cool. Kind of captures the back of the box art, the original. Of course, Hasbro had the advantage, as they would, doing an unboxing of this with uh, overhead cameras. <laughs> no flying drones in the man cave. Sorry to let you guys know, but of course, this is the box that will have the decals and the figs. Let's take a look. We'll dig into the fig reviews in a bit, but just want to show you everything. It is Coco. And the Ron Rudat tactician, the driver and the gunner there. Can't wait to dig into those. Of course, we have our decals and more legalese there. Don't worry. It already comes uh, pre-purposed with the original uh, decals or stickers, whatever you want to call them. And this itself. Oh, what? No dragonfly in there? What the hell, Lenny? You said I was getting dragon an early look at the dragonfly as well. I thought they'd both fit, but apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Open that up. Get a bunch of eggs. Egg crates. And that's some boards there. Got the canopy, the classified canopy and the retro canopy, the OG. Now nah, we're not going to unbag it. We're just going to unbox it. No unbagging today. No reviewing. Kidding. Yeah. So you got the classic side plates, retro and the classified. So real cool there. And when you open that top, there was also a Gatling gun in there. And uh, yeah, you got the, the hiss. I'm sure you guys have watched uh, the Hasbro Pulse one, but I figured to give you another look just in case. So, got those uh, Sams. So, massive twin cannon. She's a beauty, isn't she? Well, 40 years ago. The surprising thing is how actually light the classified hiss is. It's actually much lighter than the retro for it. No, I'm kidding about that. But no, it is, uh, it's fairly light for its size. It's crazy that the box weighs like, well, 10 pounds, but uh, this, I don't think it weighs even two. So yeah, anyway, we'll check this out. The gunner box, of course it articulates all the way around that didn't sound good but i promise there's no problem there because it pops right out all right 
this actually, the treads on this thing are actually rough, but then I think about it, and tanks treads are supposed to be rough. So let me know if yours glides smooth. This one has a little, it feels rough, but then again, it's a tank. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. Or either way, I love it. I mean, as long as it doesn't break or stop doing this, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. So let me know how yours glides. As you can see, I have the classic cockpit on there. And it takes a bit to snap in. It's actually kind of scary, actually. It's real easy to... I mean, I don't want to break this on air. That would be just the worst. Now that, as you can see, it easily snaps in and easily snaps out. It's a little, it's a little jarring, but I promise it's not so bad. This part, though, could take some getting used to. Voila, not so bad, eh? And now we have our infrared, as I like to call it, the canopy, the classified one fully articulated as it, as you can see. And it's weird when you pull off that like plasticky tape, it feels like something's broken and see how that's a little bit off, but it's just because it articulates. Hopefully I'll have no issues popping that in. Nope. Pull that down, pop that in. Pops in actually much easier than the retro one. And man, let's see if hopefully this doesn't Oh no, it clips in, I think. Let's see. Hmm. That doesn't quite that doesn't quite stick in there. As you can see. It's gonna be a lot of glare, my light, but hmm, interesting. Yeah, that could be a problem. Let's fully articulate that. Well it easily pops out compared to the the retro canopy as you can see pulls up get the ad adjustable buckle just like you did with the Cobra flight pod so you got that so good looking good looking canopy shot there but uh, pulls back down a little back to the future esque don't tell me I got QC issues with these treads and this thing all right, so pulling this down. Haven't declared that yet, guys. Just working things out. So I don't understand this clip. Right there. You may have to re-watch the Hasbro video because this one doesn't... If you pull that down, and you see a piece of plastic just flew out. If I pull this down, this doesn't clip in. Hmm, kind of just hangs up a little bit. Hmm, not sure how we feel about that yet. Let's see on this side, pull that one down, and this one sticks up even higher. So, hmm, interesting. Yeah, let's see if there's adjustments that need to be made in here. That could be it. Oh, it looks like everything's in. But yeah, as you can see, got one of these, they don't quite stick in. Alright, now it now it looks better. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, oopsie daisy. And down we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. Okay, now I don't know. Oh, there it is. There we go. Hold on. Hold the phone. Please clip in. Oh, I don't know. This one's sticking up, and now this one just popped out. I thought it was... I don't know if there's something... I have to start heating stuff up, guys, even on your big hiss. I don't know. That canopy sticking out. That's weird. Now, this one kind of went back in, but as soon as I push this one in... Yeah, I don't know. It's, I might be doing something wrong. So, again, this is a very early look. Fresh out the box. I don't know. Okay. Alright, now we got these tire tread side armor plate things. I'm sure there's a name for it. 
but I don't know. They kind of they kind of just stick in on the side there. Let's see. Did they loosen up? No, they didn't loosen up. I think that's. Am I doing that wrong? I don't know. There's instructions, but we're just gonna wing it, guys. And you kind of just pop right out. I think you put it in the middle tire, and boom, just easy schmeasy. Let's get let's get this one on. Circle it around. There we go. Very cool. They look nice. Just to give you a better shot. Yeah, I like it. I dig it. Yeah, so before we do anything else, let's give this bad boy some artillery. First, starting with the twin cannons. Got this. I believe this pops on right here. Right in the that gunner box there pushes in and then of course these are this ratchet articulation on these and I'm sure I did something wrong with that gunner box I probably didn't clamp it on correctly yeah there yeah there's a there's a way to get that in there talk about a whip review <laughs> all right so here we go ba -ba 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 -ba. nice looking good these are sweet really cool you can, the posability on playability on this i really dig that paint right there it's like a a violet rustic worn use that's really pretty that's a nice touch the grays here the, the different color rustic silvers and grays really nice touch we got our handles it swivels there Let's see if i can Nice bare look there, okay. Yeah, this is good. This is great. Great articulation. Of course, we have the mini Gatling guns we'll throw on there while we're at it, right? They also fit in the gunner box. You pop that in right there. Boom. Maybe that one probably. So we want to see some logos. Probably go on this side. Yeah, that makes more sense. The heavy side to the outside there, and you can see we got uh, little beepity boops in the red and green. And then uh, nice design there, some piping. Get you a nice clear look there. There we go, nice. This looks looking sweet. As you can see the Cobra insignia is there on the handle. We'll throw the other one on. This one really came uh, fully loaded, but uh, wondering what uh, my dude... Mark over Von Cannon over at Gridiron is going to do with this. It'll be interesting. And we'll be asking him those questions next week, I believe. We have uh, the Terradrome is back just in time for the hiss. Here's how our classified looking hiss is, is staying out. Everything, everything's really nice, articulated. Might have, to, might have to go in there and clip this in, but it's kind of late now. There we go. But yeah, everything's nice. It's going to be nice. Bunch of figures on there. As you can see, all those hazard lines. Really great detail across, of course, the Cobra. Logos looking beautiful all the way around. Got the OG logos on there. 788. Can't wait to get that fire team in hand. But lest we forget, the SAMs. Service to air missiles, or you can call them... The GTAM, ground to air, man. So these are super dope. Pop open this cap. See if you guys can even see it here. All right. That pops right in. It's like opening the gas cap. Give yourself more missiles. So these are pretty sweet. That pops right in. Nothing really snaps in, so it can kind of get a little like, is it in or not? And so, yeah, these pull, these articulate, these fold out. That's awesome. And then we got dog bone pins or whatever the hell they're called. There we go. Right there. Good look. They look like dog dog bones, so that must be it. So, got that. Cool. Now we have a fully... Fully, fully functional 
crazy looking hiss. So minus the canopy situation there, love to get more feedback on yours, but I love this. Now it's retro time. Okay, so just, just to show you what goes on here, it's gonna be hard to look, but once you push this down, in the gunner box, it swirls around. So once you kind of get to that point where it pops out, it's gonna get loose on you. So that's all it is. But otherwise, as you can see, the articulation is, is a nice swerve there, so. And if I'm wrong on any of this stuff, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. This is my, I think this is my first vehicle unboxing or review, so pretty wild. So the only thing I don't understand though is if I want to keep it straight, it's going to be loose. So once I turn and articulate the twin cannons, it's great. See, as you can see, I can't even pull it out when I keep it straight. That's it. I mean, it's, yeah, you gotta kind of be a little careful with that. And here we have our OG retro side panels. A little bit of a pain in the ass trying. Like I said, nothing really clips or clicks or, but uh, there you go. And there's a look at your retro carded, <laughs> vintage looking his tank. So high speed sentry in all its retro glory. And then why not, right? You knew it was coming. I'm just. This is the uh, Walmart one, the four inch retro version. In case you were wondering, but. Uh, yeah, pretty much a one-to-one. -one. It looks like I put the side panels in correctly. So that's good. Did something right for once in my life. And in case you and six other people cared what the Hiss tank looked like from the front. So we can see we got a decal. I'll have to look and see if we have an additional sticker because this is the front of this bad boy. So you see it's a little more clear on the front bumper. Really nice looking. Really gets the, the job done. And like a dummy, I forgot. <laughs> the chin gun! How did I forget it? The twin laser chin gun that clamps underneath. What a sad sack Moody is, but there it is. Just crazy. But this also gives you a nice look at what the classified version of the hiss looks from the driver's uh opponent's perspective if you will but there's the chin gun fully articulated nice ball clamp there as you can see pops right in so yeah, that, that just goes to show you there's like a million pieces, but like again, nice, that nice purple wash paint. Nice job there. Just great design and detail in the tarts and the shielding and just fully loaded. So you see the Cobra insignia there upside down. Very cool. Might as well just give you a tour of the bottom. We've got a warning sign. Secure canopy and hatches and remove weapons and ammunition prior to lifting. Fuel level must be below 25% prior to transport. Oh, okay, that's actually that's actually a thing. Except there was no dialogue <laughs> on the warning back then. We just had all this uh, legalese. I'll give you a good look at that chin gun. Awesomeness. Give the tour of the bottom. It's the batteries. Should probably show you that these ground to air or surface to air missiles, once you push in, they do articulate back and forth. And of course I did show this with extended articulation there. And yeah, they'll they'll fly out on you. It's supposed to fly anyway, but uh, get a good look at that. Those missiles. The Hiss requires three AA batteries. 
thankfully I have them right nearby. Of course, Emily explained in their unboxing video over there at Hasbro that they're not going to ship batteries. They're just it's too risky. So get take those uh, double A's out of your Xbox controllers and get them ready for your hiss. Anyway, guys, there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than reviewing lighting effects because <laughs> unless you're in some grand studio. That's that's what we got. This is what we got. This is what we're dealing with, guys. Freaking haunted ass review. Ghost of Moody's past. Jacob Moody. Let me check it out. It's all the effects. All right, let's get you in the front here. All right. Woohoo! That's cool. It'll look even cooler when the figures are in there. Blinking. Mayday, mayday. Here comes Roadblock. He's got a cinder block. He's about to smash our uh, articulated windows with it. Look at that. Ah, that is sweet. And headlights. All the stuff we could have enjoyed with the engine of vengeance. You guys failed. You guys failed me. Kidding. All right, so some more little uh, fog lights. All kind of lighting effects here. This is badass, man. So cool. But now you know why the Cobra is backwards. So that way the enemy could see it coming. I figured I'd give you a little bit of light so you could see both. Can't really see too much else. Here goes some blinking. And here we have a look at some of the other features of the classified Cobra Haslab Hiss. You get these side ladders here. And they, they're kind of janky at first and you'll get a little nervous. And the plastic on the actual ladder isn't too great. But it was confirmed that characters will be able to clip on here and then it does snap back into place so don't worry about it those were out of the words out of uh, Lenny's mouth so <laughs> we'll go to the other side as you can see that one's not looking too good so I guess that's the whole but man I'm a little yikes I'm a little worried but I guess you gotta kind of just jolly it up see what happens but uh he said it snaps into place in the video there you go cool Let's take a look at the cockpit. I never understood how to open these doors, but all right, here we go. Kind of looking from this perspective. We got the HUD, and I bet that lights up too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Blinks. It's lit up there. Anyway, oh, look at that nice reflection on the belt. The gear does shift. There we go. So the gears do shift there, and then you got the toggle. You got stuff coming right at me here. There we go. We could see character toggles. So we have our lit up HUD there. Now it's lit up with daylight, or lights on, I should say. Going through the functions, there's the blinking with the light on. Really cool, all these different uh, modes. Really great. Of course, you push from the bottom. So we got that stick there, gears, and the hood. Included were instructions, but you know, as men, we don't need instructions. We don't read instructions. So, uh, <laughs> and that's where Emily comes in and charmingly swipes us in the head and says, you dingbat. But, uh, yeah, there is all the lighting effects there. 
and then instructions on everything else really cool kind of telling me all the stuff that i messed up on in this review so i'll have to review this later actually speaking of we haven't done the back yet so let's take a look let's gonna fold this up push that down here we go nice very cool gun rack put all the tools there like the shovels and and whatnot and then obviously all the rifles and smgs and everything that'll go in there got the nice looking jump seat it's adjustable let's take a look at it without looking at the instructions <laughs> which is just oh yeah okay it's really easy and adjustable i think this can actually come out too just don't really want to mess with too much until <laughs> i don't want to be the guinea pig for all you fools but yeah because i i can imagine another one going here or, or this one adjusting and kind of going there i know it was a, i know from what i heard you can take this out and it adjusts but man i don't know but it does slide up and down so that's good is a better look inside there's the toilet. All right, and if you're wondering, I see there's like indentation of like scratches and stuff. And I sure hope it's just the aesthetics of the thing. Like uh, obviously a little battle worn. Maybe it's from the factory. Let me know. Um, I'm not going to open up my second, I don't think. So is this, you know, part of what's going on with you? I'm okay with it. I like that it's a little battle worn. I don't want the thing too battle worn, so that would make sense. Um, anyway, of course, we have this tow hitch. You know, the tow hook, I should say, folds down for that uh, beautiful, gorgeous SMS we are dying to get. So I uh, just wanted a, another note on the ramp. Pull this down. Obviously, you'll have an option with this, whether you want to go direct into maybe another his tank or maybe make like a bridge platform, that's really cool too. So that's kind of something we haven't really heard about. I still don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm sure I'll discover it by the end of this review. But uh, yeah, overall, really cool stuff. Pull that back down, put some troopers on there. I know they can hold on to those bars. You know, you got there. So just another look inside the canopy, if you will. And yeah, as you could see, I messed up and didn't put, I put the Gatlings on the wrong side. So these pop right on. I might even have those wrong, but when you pull that down, that X is there. It seems to make the most sense. And then, yeah, so these will actually, yeah, of course it makes sense to have the gunner towards the inside with the shielding on the outside. So I guess that's what it is. It's shielding, so that way they can't easily take out the Gatling, but who knows, it could be ammunition. That would make sense too, seeing how it's a Gatling. So it's like an ammo box. Just another look. We have our extra stickers, decals, Cobra Hiss, you get the misprinted Mickey Mouse, Cobra Insignia, which is really cool. That's a dope one. Semper Fidelis, that's really cool too. Some uh, Cobra Marines there, so a lot of 788. So you can stylize this however you want. This would be really cool if you do a diorama of a Cobra base and save these for that. Then you're all set, right? So I kind of dig the way it looks, but I don't know if I'll ever use these unless I get a diorama, but it's really cool that they included it. So way to go Hasbro. And here's a look at scrap iron, some blast effects. Wanted to talk blast effects for a while for, I was like, Oh man, where are all the blast effects? Did I miss them? And then I realized that was the dragonfly that comes with all this. So just to let you know, there's future proofing that Lenny tends to talk about, but it didn't feature proof these, but that's fine. These are the Viper blast effects. Um, there were others that came with the Valkyries. I'll have to try some of those later, but maybe we'll get lasers. He kept calling these turrets lasers and stuff. So, um, yeah, and, and these missiles fit, but it doesn't make sense. These are not 
This is not a missile launcher, but I believe this does sneak in here. It does. So maybe the lasers we'll get, maybe in a pack or something. But either way, we know third party's coming for this bad boy. But I like Scrap Iron sitting up there and operating his drone from the top. And also, I found out what this piece was. I just remembered that the Hasbro team did go over this, and this was a last addition to it, and that's why I believe it's not in the instructions. So this is like an armor plating. So, you, you, I mean, it looks good. It's just another option, you know, if you want to have the retro look, and then this kind of gives it more classified. Kind of sprucing that up, and that just kind of goes in the space there. Cla it kind of clasps, clasps right on, so... That's pretty cool. Get more armor. So this thing is really beefy. And now we're just getting some play out of this. There's the Cobra Flight Pod. The Trouble Bubble next to the Hiss. Now we have our figures. 99, 100, and 101. And of course, retro carded misprint. Mickey Mouse, Coco, Cobra Commander. We have our Hiss Driver. Hiss Tactician, which was obviously the Ron Rudat vote. And the Hiss Gunner. Special shout out to Dan Klingensmith. He's got amazing books that capture Ron's art. I voted for this Hiss Chicago Bulls colorway anyway. And that's basically a Hiss color, if you will. So, he <laughs> got those infrared sixes in there. Had to. But yeah, the Ron Rudat thing. He created the art specifically for Hasbro on the figure in the box, of course, with that signed, uh, Ron Rudat only signed mine, guys, sorry. So I am the only one in the world with an official, no, I'm kidding. Every box has a uh, signature. I don't think he actually, uh, he signed it once and you're getting the print of it. But uh, what's nice about these, and we'll, di we'll dig into each one, but specifically this one, as you can see immediately, we got that thick white cardstock that we saw with Marvel Legends and Star Wars Black Series. So take a look at the features on our buddy Coco there. Look at that, huh? Wow. Should have got two. They even got a middle finger before Stone Cold. Looks like it. But yeah, this is this is what dreams are made of, kids. Let's get a good look into that. Some lighting there. Yeah, there you go. M I C K E Y M O U S E. Get the ball. So, yeah, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful card. This thing is going to go for millions of dollars, probably more than the Hiss itself at the end of the day. So, should have bought 20 of these. And then uh, Emily said, a one time only, we are going to have English on the file card here, but moving forward, we're going to have the multi language. On the retro card now it's kind of weird that we got sneak peeks and as you can see it's unpunched as well sneak peeks at scarlet and duke and a leak we'll talk about that tonight but unfortunately it doesn't really have the white border and it looked like the flimsy card back so hopefully it was just a fake a phony or whatever i don't know something else a factory leak or something because uh, that would be really disappointing to say from now on and then we only get this one in the uh ultimate card stock I knew you'd ask, so plastic ties, sadly, we don't have those cool ropes that people are using for accessories. I just like the fact that I can twist and untie and un instead of using a knife and cutting myself and cutting the box and cutting the figure and all that. But uh, basically rip it. Here he is, his driver, looking good. Due to time, we got a show to record tonight. We're going live in just a couple hours. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video for uh, the review of the Hiss. I, I really want to dig into these. I don't want to half, half do it just because it's part of the Hiss. So we will wait on that. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek in the meantime. I am thrilled to report that there were no outstanding QC issues with any of the figures. And to quote my dude Herb J, they all feel like the factory person who made this was dipped in a bottle of lotion. They, <laughs> they, I'm sure I butchered that quote, but anyway, they, they all feel really good and articulate and everything. The only thing maybe is a little bit of warpage on this rifle. 
Of course, a lot of that had to do with plastic free packaging. Uh, and one other thing is these lockers have never been lighter. So I, I thought it was hilarious, but there's a, there's a look at the, uh, jumbo lockers that we got for the figs, but we'll review those another time. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with them. And now to summarize the moment you've all been waiting for, how many whiskeys is Moody going to give the G.I. Joe Classified Series? Cobra, his tank, a.k.a. the HasLab from Hasbro Pulse, the Hiss. What are we going to do? All right, packaging, just superb. Did we wish we had also maybe the retro carded looking version of the art on the back ah that could have been some but this is the classified hiss so that'll pass i think the packaging is great they did a amazing job making sure all the action figures were secure and mint and everything like that the value is incredible five whiskeys across the board the only issue i have and it could be a me issue if i'm not figuring this out is this canopy on the classified version how this just does not clip or stick down. It could be something that might be managed with heat or water or something like that. So we will explore. This thing is brand new. I'm sure there's plenty of other Easter eggs and kinks and things I'm missing along the way. We'll discover those. That's the beauty of it. But just as a first look review, I dig it across the board. The functionality is superb. It's amazing. Did I wish things like this clicked in instead of just being pushed in and you're not sure? Sure. The tank treads, it feels like a tank. Is it supposed to? You guys let me know. It doesn't feel like a toy. It feels like a tank. I love it. But is that a problem? It might. Do I have issues with these treads? I mean, it does roll. So who knows? Uh, the new cardboard on the retro, hopefully that sticks. It may not. It's a beautiful, but we'll go over the figures in another review. Overall, for what was it, $2.99? I don't even know anymore. But anyway, the, the value of this, yeah, I believe it's $2.99. The value of this is just absolutely incredible. Worth every penny. There are some tricky things with functionality like this it feels like it's gonna break, but doesn't. So, you know, overall, is it perfect? It's damn close. It is damn close. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hasbro, but I'm gonna go four. 0.75 dash five. It's almost there, almost a classic, if not for some subtle issues. And then obviously, like I said, the, the rifle's a little warped on our queen up there in the turret. So otherwise though, completely satisfied, love both the functionality, the playability, the posability of everything, and just the inter interchangeable pieces, the interchangeable canopies, the turrets, the options that we have. I um, mean, so much that I forgot to put the the Sams on. So that just goes to show you, this thing is just loaded, loaded with guilt. It's just amazing. I love it so much. And I hope you guys do. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. Of course, we have more shows, reviews coming along the way. Lots of best subs. It's the end of the year. We're celebrating 60th anniversary. We're going to have the full force on this weekend, Saturday, to recap the fan stream that Hasbro has probably by the time you watch this or just after or just before. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, it's Travis Moody for A Toy Kind of Mood, and we'll catch you at HasbroPulse.com's Toy Isle. Peace.